Yoo-hoo! There goes Mr. Deer. Oh, and there's Mr. Crow. Hey, Mr. Deer, how do you do? Ah, ah. I'm good. What about you? Hey there, meet Mr. Deer and Mr. Crow. No, don't get confused. They are nothing but the shadow of my hands. Come, let me tell you more about shadows. Zoom in! Shadow is nothing but the light that cannot pass through an object. But hey, you can only see shadows of objects that are visible to eyes. For example, a tree will have a shadow, so will you and I. But not air and water, because light can pass through them. You can have multiple shadows. It all depends on the number of light sources. The more the number of lights, the more shadows you will have. Oh, there goes Mr. Deer again. Hey! You got to see how Mr. Deer changes in size. There's a reason behind it. When I move the lights away from my hand, the shadow becomes smaller in size. And when I bring the light source near, the shadow becomes large. When you put the light source just over the object, you get the shortest shadow. Whoa! Mr. Deer looks so small now. Hmm. Now you know that the size of a shadow depends on the distance between the light source and the object. It's hard for many to believe that light travels in a straight line. Yes, it's true. Light cannot bend or turn around that object to light up the area behind it. Trivia time! When there were no clocks, people used to estimate time using the sun clock. A shadow cast by the earth on the moon results in a lunar eclipse, the source of light being the sun. So this is me zooming out. Tune in next time for more fun facts.